Hey guys, it's Gavin here. Uh, we're back again with another video. Today we're actually doing a review of this woodchip gondola kit by Crosstie Models, which is by NS Modeler 24 on YouTube. Um, this is a kit that he made uh, of the GS50 G82 woodchip gondolas uh, made by the Southern Railway uh, and previous owners. Uh, Previous owners were Norfolk and Western and Southern Railway. You get in three different options, Silver Spike, Gold Spike, and Rusted Spike. Silver being a kit, Gold being ready to go, and Rusted being ready to go but also weathered. Um, you get in three options, the Southern as delivered, Southern, the modern Southern, like the faded, and then Norfolk Southern, which is black with Norfolk Western reporting marks. So, it comes in a box, sorry about the camera, um, it comes in a box like this, I got the, as you can see, I got the uh, southern modern one, comes in a box, box is well put together, it's packaged very well, and I've already put it together and started the painting process. This is what it looks like. The interior bracing needs to be done along with finishing up the painting on the inside. But this is how I've got it so far. I still have yet to finish the uh, detailing with the uh, stirrups. The trucks are going to be painted and weathered up here soon too. Um, as you can see I kind of did like a, a rust coat on the top because mine's going to be really weathered. Um, Sorry about the mess in the background. I've been uh, working on a few projects. So this is the kit. Um, I'm going to quickly talk about the kit, its pros and cons, and um, what I personally thought of it while I was putting it together. So right now, I think the only con that I actually have is that I didn't buy more than one. <laughs> um this kit is really well put together. He did an incredible job on getting the different parts molded correctly, getting the ladders to be separate uh, where you can put them together. You have basically ladders that you cut out yourself off of a little sprue that's about like, like that roughly. Um, you can see the stirrups I've got right here. Uh, the end platforms and a few other things are currently being uh, painted and they'll be done shortly. I weathered the, I painted and weathered the styrene rod that he provides. I did basically, I painted it the same gray and then I just gave it some rust coats, uh, an overspray of the rust um, for the for the cross braces. Um, this is the color that I used on this particular model I think it looks a little bit better in my opinion because the real cars do have a bluish tint but under the right lighting this has a little bit blue tint uh, me personally from where I'm sitting it looks more like a brownish gray but through the camera it's actually a little bit more blue um, the rust coat I just used uh, red oxide primer uh, from Krylon and then this was a Model Master Gray. Um, overall, the kit goes together really well. There's no parts that I had any issues with. And even on the underside where you put together the, uh, the brake rigging and the brake uh, components, they fit really well. I like how he had the car set up to um, you where you could only put the brake pieces in the right way. He designed it so that you couldn't put them in the wrong way um overall i really like the kit i really like how it came out this is the instructions that he has it literally tells you all the different important steps uh preparing the shell is very important do not overlook this especially where does it say um it says it in here somewhere cleaning the shell do exactly as he says 
in the instructions with the Dawn dish soap. It goes on to uh, explain how to how to do everything else pretty much. And then on the back is a uh, decal diagram. When I say listen to him on the cleaning the shell, I mean it. Uh, a lot of us are really bad about not really cleaning up shells before we go to uh, paint them. This particular shell had a little bit of uh, residue left over on it from the, the molding process, which you can see it on plastic models when you don't clean it off, especially when you go to do a gloss coat because you'll have glossy spots and you'll have non-glossy spots. This was a flat coat of paint, but I washed it three times as opposed to twice just to make sure. I didn't want to risk it because he says even in his YouTube video to wash it to make sure that there is no mold residue. Overall, I have no complaints with this kit really. Um, everything goes together really well. It's very well detailed. It's very well put together. The kit is designed very well. Uh, the only downside on the inside is this uh, piece in the middle from the casting process, the sprue stump, but that's really not a big of a deal because I was able to cut it out and um, trim it down. Overall, I have to say I love the kit. I love how it came out. I have no... Um, whoops, my bad. I have no complaints about it. I love the way it was put together. I love the way that the kit comes and is doable. It's very easy to put together. If you've got basic modeling experience, you should be able to put it together with a lot of ease. There's, there's really nothing on this kit that's too hard to do. Unfortunately, he only did a few runs of uh, the kit so there's as far as I know there are not going to be any more available he sold out in about a day so there aren't any more unless some come up on eBay which someone may or may not sell them at some point this was how if he does another release in the future I would definitely buy more uh, the kits are really easy to put together. They're really well done. No one makes a model of this particular car other than uh, Mr. NS Modeler 24 over here. So uh, thank you to him and to Cross Tie Models for producing an accurate car and doing so in a very unique way. Um, I normally don't work with resin. I don't like working with resin. I feel that resin is usually a very basic modeling medium for a lot of casting. And it may be because most of the resin castings, even from Walther's, were just poor quality. This was injection molded, I believe he said. But it's resin, not poly, uh, polystyrene. So I'm very, very impressed with the quality of the casting. It is it is a very clean casting. There's I, Mine came with no flash. He said there's normally going to be flash, but I could not find any anywhere. I was very, very pleased with that. I was very pleased with how the individual sprues of the um, plastic came out. Those are the dummy couplers right there. He gives you a little piece of square styrene strip. Let's see if you can see it's square. There you go. That's what you use to support the ladders on the side. You can kind of see it right there, actually. Right there. Uh, that's what you attach with the ladders to, to the shell with, because otherwise the ladders kind of hang off. So those are basically used as brackets. Uh, again, like I said, the design is incredible. I love how it looks. I love how it came out. Mine came pre... Mine Mine did not come the uh, translucent, translucent um, clear-ish resin color. Mine was already pre-tinted to a bluish gray. But it 
it just seemed too blue to my eye. And also, I had this gray picked out anyway because mine's going to be really heavily weathered. And I picked up this technique from aircraft modelers, which is if you paint it an already faded color instead of a full strength color, instead of like a dark black or leaving it that blue, um, you've already cut half of your weathering work down because now instead of having full strength color, you've already got a faded color. And a gray is a little bit easier to weather anyway. So uh, I'm very happy with the kit. I love how it turned out so far. I haven't even decaled it yet. I still have to clear coat and decal it, and I still have to finish the detailing on it. But overall, I love the kit. I love how it came out. Honestly, if he ever was to try to sell the molds off to somebody or to get someone else to make some more, I would definitely buy more in the future. Considering that he sold out in one day uh, 24, 25 kits, I think. He did a limited run and it sold out within a day. I'm pretty sure if, if he was able to do another run, uh, it would sell out very quickly. Overall, I, I can't I can't praise the kit enough. I love how it came out. I love the detailing opportunities because there are plenty of super detailing opportunities on this kit. And overall, this is what I think of it. I think it came out very well. I think it's a great kit. And I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully, if any of you guys have one, y'all will be happy with yours. Um, feel free to comment below on the video if you have a kit and please, if you have one of these and you had a experience other than mine, please comment below and tell me what your experience with these kits was. Again, this is the GS50 G82 wood chip gondola by Cross Tie Models by NS Modeler 24. And that's what I think of the kit. All right, guys, I'm out. I will catch all of you later.